It's your boy, the shows, and if you're new to the channel, welcome to Shows World TV. I'm gonna show you my top four pet peeves people edition. So, if you're already subscribed, would you please hit that like button and share this video with all your people? All right, so let's just get into the video. I made a list here so that I would not forget anything. So, number one, people who cough without covering their mouth. You know the type. The people who always are out in public and then unsuspectedly you start hearing this very nasty coughing sound and you know, these people are just coughing up a storm but they never you know put their hand in their arm they never look away they never cover you know with the fist never you know palm of the hand they never you know take the shirt to you know cough under the they always do an open mouth and of course, sometimes, unsuspectingly, you can also feel some spit land on you, among other things. You know, sure, millions of little microscopic germs. It's it's crazy to think people still cough without, you know, covering their mouth, and yet they're supposed to be adults. And I mean, I expect that sort of thing from a kid. You, you understand? I probably even expect it from a little baby, but not... You know, not a grown person. You would expect grown people to know better, but sometimes even they don't know better. And I notice it happens more with with uh, with women than men. Surprisingly, when I'm out in public, women tend to cough more without covering their mouth. I, you know, that might sound like a gender bias thing, but it's really not. I'm just telling you from my experience what I see. I've definitely seen men. You know, cough without covering their mouth, but that, I'm just giving you my um, observance experience, so don't come for me about that, you know? This is definitely not a gender bias thing, but anyhow, enough justifying that, <laughs> let's move on. So number two, people who stare you down for no reason. Are you uncomfortable yet? You see, so many times I've been at a party i've been at some sort of even family event or i've been on the train bus wherever and you know someone's always doing one of these or one of these there's always that one person that is looking at me for no reason and I mean, they don't even say anything. They just keep staring at you as if, I guess, they expect you to be intimidated. Like, just the other day when I was coming home from work, a girl had stared me down as I was getting into the train car. Now, I don't know if I had pushed up by accident. It's possible. I mean, it was rush hour, and there's a lot of people on the train. So, you know, I'm not really thinking about that, but... I mean, even if I did it, it was more than likely not on purpose, but, you know, the way she was looking, you know, yes, I, I gave her the stare down back, and she definitely looked back and stopped, but i just giving you an example of what happens with that. See, that, to me, just says you're trying to either look threatening or you're trying to cause a scene for no reason, and I really can't say that that would make anyone comfortable in a situation like that maybe next time when you look at someone maybe try not to do that you know that this might be the difference between an unnecessary fight and you having a peaceful day going home to wherever you're going to okay number three people who text listen to music or walk with the phone without looking where they're going I actually had to curse someone out one time for this because I was I was coming out of a train station once and, and some some person had bumped me and and did one of these you know the, the person was disgusted with me apparently for even though they bumped into me I said watch where you're going and the person was like sorry I'm just like yeah real stupid I can't say the actual thing that I said because, you know, 
monetization issues, YouTube and Swear. And even though I've seen many, many channels monetize that Swear. Anyway, you know, popularity, money. We're not going to get into that. Because that's a whole nother different video. But yes, you know how many times someone has almost came close to bumming into me? Or has bumped into me because they're on their phone and not looking at where they're going? Especially the, um... The people in Manhattan, like I would say more often in the Times Square area, like Midtown, I've seen this happen to me. Yeah, people just are in their own little world as they're not focused on anyone else. It's very insane to me how, how much control a smartphone has over a person. It's baffling. What can I say? I guess even though I was, you know, adapting to that kind of technology early on, I just never, I'm not, I can never be that distracted by my phone. I mean, I've had my moments, but never to the point where I'm bumping into people. So, yeah. So now number four, the very last one, scammers and or surveyors. I did a whole video on scammers. So you want to check that out. I'll put the video title in here, the thumbnail. So anyway, you know, the, you know what the scams usually are? We can relieve your student loan debt. Your social, your social security is about to decline. You have a warrant out for your arrest. There's an Asian automated voice. We'd like a few minutes of your time to take a survey about your cable service, etc., etc., etc. Man, too many of those calls have come on my phone, definitely, and have been on a house phone especially it's it is very very irritating when I get those calls because no matter how many numbers I block from those scam calls more comes in with different numbers and different area codes especially the local area codes so like I said I got a whole video about that and it, it should definitely be in my vlogs playlist so guys that's the end of this video hope you enjoyed it just wanted to get you guys a video okay i've been very busy you know with some personal matters so i'm not sure if there's gonna be a video next thursday <coughs> why i can't speak i'm not sure if there's gonna be a video next thursday but i will let you guys know as time goes on so if you enjoyed this video leave a like share comment and or subscribe this is shows world tv and once again i make vlogs reactions and sketches so don't forget to hit that bell to be notified every time i make a new video follow me on instagram and twitter and on the like app where i post more videos that i can't show here because of copyright situations all the links for those are in the description down below all right if you want to check out my more recent video click that right there and if you want to check out one of my more recent updates to a playlist click that right there okay so this is your boy shows and i will see you guys next time when I upload. Peace!